let us discuss this example so in this example we have a function g of x which is expressed with the help of integration and we have to find its derivative obviously we are going to use first fundamental theorem of calculus to solve this problem so we need to write the given function first which we have already done so this is a given function so first we focus on a function okay we take integration of what here we take integration of t square so the function is t square let me write that thing here so here f of t is equal to t square see if this function is continuous then only first fundamental theorem of calculus is applicable here t square it's a polynomial function so that's why it is clearly continuous let me write that thing so clearly f is continuous function so that's why we can take uh, uh, we can apply so therefore by first fundamental theorem of calculus okay I, this short form i'm using here what can we write derivative of g is equal to here also we take derivative of this integral integration sin x to cos x right t square dt but the problem is that uh, in case of first fundamental theorem of calculus lower limit of integration should be constant and here we have no uh, variables are getting sin x and cos x both of them are functions so that's why we cannot apply the first fundamental theorem of calculus directly what will i do i'm going to split this integration in this way so this is equal to derivative of what will i do i will write integration sin x to 0 t square dt plus integration 0 to cos x t square dt so i have split this integration in this way see but what we want we want a constant okay as a lower limit of integration so here we have got but we have a problem here since 0 which is a constant which is a upper limit of integration so what will i do simple thing i will simply interchange i will interchange the limit so that's why i need to write minus sign outside let us do that thing here so yeah therefore what can we write derivative of we can take separate separate derivative minus integration 0 to sin x t square dt plus derivative of 0 to cos x t square dt <coughs> see after that what will i do we can apply first fundamental theorem of calculus but here we have a single variable instead of that we have a function so in previous videos you have already seen what we do in this case we use substitution i'm going to put sin x is equal to u and i'm going to put cos x is equal to v there so what will you have so derivative of <coughs> 0 to u minus sign is there t square dt plus derivative of 0 to v t square dt so i need to mention where u is equal to sin x and v is equal to cos x but again we have a problem that is here we are taking derivative with respect to x and the upper limit is u actually both variables should be same so what will i do i'm going to use chain rule okay chain rule so chain rule says this is derivative with respect to u minus integration 0 to u t square dt into du by dx so chain rule i use du du will get cancelled and you will again have d by dx right same thing i am going to do there by chain rule d by dv here since variable is v integration 0 to v t square dt into dv by dx okay so now first fundamental theorem of calculus is applicable here since we have u and here we are differentiating with respect to u what we do in that case simply we replace t by u by that upper limit so we will have minus u square du by dx plus here also we can put uh, we can replace it by v v square dv by dx see after that we have to solve the problem but there is no more space to write so make a screenshot of it then we will go further okay let us continue let us put the value of u what is value of u sin x right so minus sin square x okay derivative of u which is derivative of sin x plus what is value of v value of v is cos x so we can write cos square x into derivative of v that is cos x so this is equal to minus sin square x what is derivative of sin x cos x after that 
cos square x. What is derivative of cos x? Minus sin x. So, this is the required answer, right? So, this is required derivative. Let me remove this one so you can make a screenshot of it. You have already taken it now. Okay, so make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. Bye-bye.